Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for coming back. I thought today we could do a really simple styling video showing you my top five basic items for spring and this kind of transitional period. Um, however, I don't know what it's like where you guys are, but I feel like the weather definitely had different plans. It's currently snowing in Manchester, which is kind of nice, but it is absolutely freezing. However, the good thing is the items I'm going to show you today are basics. They're kind of core seasonless wardrobe staples, and um, so you should just be able to kind of layer them up to wear right now, and I'll show you how I'm going to be styling them for spring during this video. I've actually been doing a little weekly series over on Instagram, which I've called Good Basics. Um, where I take one basic item each week and style it a number of different ways for different occasions and yeah I've really been enjoying creating this content so yeah I thought I would kind of share some of that content over here too. This might not be the most exciting video in terms of new and pieces and lots of colour and things um, but the idea is that it just might spark some ideas about outfits that you can recreate at home using items that you already have or it might just make you realise that you're missing one of these kind of core wardrobe staples to create the outfits that that you want. But yeah, let me know what you think about this idea if you like it and if you want to see more of this kind of content. Um, I'll stop rambling and just get straight into it. Because these are such kind of basic core wardrobe staples, a lot of the items that I'm going to show you will be old. However, I've been creating lots of different edits for similar items that you will be able to shop below if there's something you're missing. Um, but yeah, I'll just get straight into it. But before we do, I just quickly wanted to show you my jewellery today. I'm normally a silver jewellery kind of girl. Well. However, I recently received some gifting from Monica Beneda and I decided to mix it up and try some gold pieces and I absolutely love them. Um, so the pieces that I picked up were this really beautiful um, pearl necklace and this really simple gold chain that I have layered it with here and also this really unique, beautiful bangle which I am really enjoying. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love Monica Beneda so I was so excited when they offered some gifting. Um, two of the rings that I wear every Every single day are from there so this blue stone one and the one underneath and um, so yeah I can confirm the quality is incredible because I wear these every day and yeah they haven't tarnished at all and um, yeah let me know what you think if you're feeling at the gold jewelry and um, I'll leave it all linked down below so you can have a look and yeah let's just get straight into it thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it okay so my number one basic item for spring and this transitional period is a blue and white striped shirt um, I absolutely love these. I think they're such a good way to bring a little bit of colour through a mainly neutral wardrobe um, while still keeping everything very classic. Um, they're absolutely timeless. They come back around every single year and I really don't think there's anything as simple and chic as a blue and white shirt in spring. So these are a definite wardrobe staple and something that you really will keep in your wardrobe forever. As I said before, I think the blue is such a nice colour for spring. It works so well with kind of lighter blue denim jeans and cream jeans and really just kind of freshens up your outfits and make them feel a little bit lighter and brighter for heading into spring. They're definitely seasonless items as well. I love layering a blue and white shirt with a knit. Um, in spring I tend to layer them more with kind of cropped sleeveless knits um, but I was definitely wearing this in winter as well with really chunky kind of white knits and I love just letting the collar come out of the top for a little bit of a pop of colour. Blue and white also goes really well with black so really easy easy to pair with faux leather trousers or black jeans and um, so yeah it really does kind of transition from winter to spring right through to summer and wearing with kind of linen shorts and sandals and things. They can also transition really easily from your workwear wardrobe to your everyday wardrobe, something I absolutely love and I think is great from a sustainability perspective. It looks stunning with some black wide leg trousers and a belt for the office. I also think this would work really well for more of a relaxed kind of jeans and a nice top five. I think really little things Things like rolling up the sleeves, opening a few buttons, wearing more kind of statement jewellery and accessories can really kind of dress a shirt like this up and make it feel a lot more evening appropriate. Number two on my list of top basic items for spring is a pair of cream jeans. Now, I absolutely love these. I would say these are one of my all-time favourite wardrobe staples. Um, I wear these all the time. I wear them all year round. I think they're totally seasonless. And I'd say they're a definite must-have for every wardrobe. Again, they just instantly brighten your outfit and make it feel a little bit less predictable at this time of year. Um, one of the great things about them is that they work with so many different footwear options. So, of course, you can wear these with trainers but they also work really well with black loafers, black boots, 
flat boots, heel boots, even flat sandals and heeled sandals as we move towards spring and then summer. Um, and they could also be paired with some heels in the evening too. I think sometimes people can struggle a little bit with how to style cream jeans with black footwear. Um, if you wanna wear these with maybe some black loafers or some black heel boots for the office. Um, one way to do this is just to bring a little bit more black through your outfit, maybe with things like a belt and a bag. That way your outfit just feels a little bit more kind of cohesive and works from a color perspective too. I also really love a full neutral, full cream look. I think this always looks really chic and timeless. Um, so in spring, I'm thinking like a white t-shirt and a trench coat or maybe even a cream coat. Um, and I probably need more of a winter whites look today with the snow. Um, so maybe pairing with a chunky cream knit as well. Um, I definitely think you can style these jeans for the evening too. Maybe with like a white or cream corset, a cream blazer and some heels. And um, so yeah, again, I really think this is an item that can do everything Thing in your wardrobe. I think in the cutaways I've shown an outfit that I've been wearing the past few weeks when the weather has been a little bit better, but just a really simple kind of oversized knit with some loafers. Um, I really love the kind of camel and cream colour combination as well. Unfortunately, this exact pair is an old one from Zara. Um, I've had these for so many years now. Um, they do seem to bring out similar styles every year, so I will link some options below. Um, I'm also going to show you a pair of jeans from Mango that I picked up recently. Absolutely love the shape of those, and I think they do also do them in a cream so I'll leave those linked down below as well they're the mum jeans style and um, I would say one of the best things about these jeans is the frayed hem at the bottom I really like this I just think it works really well as I said when you're pairing with trainers and loafers and things and um, it just makes it look a little bit more of like an authentic denim and um, but yeah unfortunately these ones won't be available anymore but I will see what I can find and leave some options down below number three is a pair of lighter blue denim jeans and um, these are the jeans that I just mentioned from mango and um, as I said they're a mum jean style and I absolutely love them they're a really recent purchase from mango and I'm really really happy with them I feel like I've found a new kind of style of jean that I can trust and um, although they are a mum jean style to me they feel more like a kind of straight slim leg fit and um, but yeah I absolutely love them I really like the lighter blue denim color the quality feels really good so yeah we'll definitely leave these linked down below because they are definitely an item that I'm going to be getting so much wear out of this spring as I keep saying I just think all the items that I've showed you so far are really easy ways to just bring a little bit more kind of light to your outfits as we move towards spring. I just think this kind of colour of blue denim jean is going to work really well with lighter blazers and things. Um, I absolutely love wearing little heels or heeled sandals, a nice top with a cream blazer over the top. I love that look and it's definitely one of my go-tos for like a nice lunch or weekend plans. But it also works really well with lighter knits and trench coats in this kind of transitional period too. Of course there's a million different outfits that you can create with a pair of jeans so I won't bore you all to death and um, you probably already have a really similar pair in your wardrobe as well so I definitely recommend going back through your wardrobe and just seeing if you have something in this kind of similar lighter denim shade. Um, yeah I feel like in winter you can get stuck in a little bit of a routine of wearing darker denim and blacks and yeah I just think these are a really easy way to kind of brighten and freshen up your outfits and yeah I really enjoyed pulling these out out, just putting them on with a crisp fresh white t-shirt and instantly just feel more spring like if you are looking to invest in a little bit more of a premium pair of jeans then I can really recommend Abercrombie I recently picked up more of a full-length straight jean from them and I absolutely loved them and um, really impressed with the quality so I'll leave those linked down below as well but yeah I think just go for whichever style you prefer and whichever one you think you'll wear most number four is a black blazer now I definitely couldn't do a video about wardrobe basics without including a black blazer and um, I must wear a black blazer at least once or twice a week and um, I wear these all year round they are absolutely seasonless timeless and yeah just always make your outfit feel on point I'm sure most of you already have a black blazer but if you don't trust me you need one if you thought the items that I've showed you so far were versatile Trust me, this is on a whole new level. This can literally go from the most casual running errands look right up to the most kind of corporate power suit. I really do think it can work for every single occasion and will fit into every wardrobe. The one I've got here is a really lovely oversized boxy fit one from Arquette. I absolutely love this blazer, couldn't recommend it enough. It's got a really premium quality feel to it. I'm pretty sure it's like a wool or wool blend blazer. And um, it's a little bit 
of a higher price point, but to be honest, I think it's worth every single penny. I wear this for every single occasion from date night to when you've just been to a gym class and you want to go for a brunch. It's so easy to throw this on over an activewear set. But I really do think the simplest outfits work best under a black blazer. So wearing with some blue denim jeans, a white t-shirt or race neck and some trainers for a really kind of easy but effortless look. I also really love an all black tonal look, maybe for the office, but also for the evening. Maybe just pairing with a black satin mini dress or some faux leather trousers. Um, it just always looks really chic and you just absolutely cannot go wrong with an all black look. I'm sure most of you have already got a black blazer in your wardrobe, but if you are looking for a bit of a refresh and you wanna go for something a little bit more premium, then really do recommend this Arquette wash. And I really hope how I've styled it in the cutaways might just spark a little bit more inspiration for how to style yours this spring. And finally, everyone's favorite coat at this time of year, it is a trench coat. I just think these are one of the easiest, most effortless kind of jacket coat that you can wear at this time of year. They go with literally everything and work for almost every occasion. Hopefully you guys already have one, but if you don't, I'd really recommend having a look for one now um, because I have seen these popping up but selling out so, so quickly. Unfortunately, this is an old one from Zara. I've had this for a few years now. I um, absolutely love it. I do think it's a really nice kind of cool neutral color really easy to pair with everything that I've shown you so blue denim jeans cream jeans black trousers and um, yeah it really does work with so many things in my wardrobe I have seen a couple similar options that I really like at the moment and um, there's one on Reese and Abercrombie and I do also think Zara is quite good for trench coats as well I haven't actually seen one I love as much as this one but I will definitely keep an eye out there's also one that I really really love on under the stories which I am trying to resist purchasing and um, it's a trench coat kind of style and um, but it's actually almost like a thicker kind of wool material not super thick kind of like an in-between wool coat and trench coat style material and um, but it's absolutely stunning and um, so I'll leave that one linked down below as well and I'll probably just do a little bit of a roundup of trench coats for you below as well but as I said they go with literally everything from tracksuits to activewear sets to really corporate formal outfits and um, to just wearing it smart casually with jeans and trainers too. So yeah, an absolute must have in any wardrobe and I definitely recommend trying to pick one up now if you haven't got one already. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully it was a short but sweet one. Let me know what you think about this kind of basic styling idea. Really keen to hear your thoughts. Um, hopefully just giving you a few more ideas for outfits that you can recreate at this time of year. Um, but also just maybe if you're struggling for inspiration one day, you can have a little look back at this video for some really easy, simple ideas. But yeah, I'll leave all the links and details in the box down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, then please do like and subscribe. It really means the world to me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!